Um, when we teach decimals to kids with special needs, we do it kind of the same way that the regular classroom teacher would. We use the same teaching methods, but we'll just maybe simplify it a lot. And usually, whenever I start teaching with decimals, I start with money because it's a it's a real life thing that they're used to. And so, you know, we'll start with the tenths and hundreds place, and then kind of go on from there. But um, it really, you know, you we would use the same strategies as the regular classroom teacher, but just start with smaller numbers, review it a lot, um, you know, and then work it up slowly where, you know, where the regular classroom teacher, they could probably teach decimals in a couple days and they would get it. But. Something that's, um, anything if you can connect it to a real life skill and ability, then that's great. Um, I would definitely, I would make sure that they understand regular place value first. You know, before you even get to decimals, you have to make sure they understand the ones, the tens, hundreds, you know, on up this part, this way of the decimal. And then once they've got that, then you can go into the decimal point and that place value. Um, but I found that if you try to take too big of a step before they've got that basic skill mastered, then you're just gonna lose them. So, but I don't think decimals are really introduced until fourth or fifth grade.